My name is Nicole and this is that so Nicole and this is gonna be the start of a new vlog um, I'm actually starting a new not new series but like adding a new video a new vlog style to the channel and so this is gonna be the start of it and right now I am it's not October it's November 3rd and yeah like i said this is going to be the start of a new video so what i'm going to do like i told y'all last well the last video before i took my break is that november is my birth month so it's aka covember hashtag covember and um i'm starting this month with not only doing flight attendant vlogs because y'all will definitely get that but i'm also gonna include weekly vlogs so kind of like flight attendant life what we do outside of work and yeah so today is going to be day one of my weekly vlog for this week and um the times or the days that i'm going to be posting is going to be wednesdays and sundays i don't know specifically the times yet only because it's difficult trying to uh, schedule or map out what time I can actually post just because I'm always on the go but it's definitely gonna be Wednesdays and Sundays so 5 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. are my best posting times according to my analytics so we'll see if I can hit those um, times but other than that yeah Wednesdays and Sundays are going to be my posting days right now though I am starting my day it's a Thursday I'm off and I'm starting my day with a morning walk and I'm walking my brother's dog I don't have a dog anymore um but yeah so I'm walking my brother's dog and she keeps stopping everywhere but I'm trying to get this exercise in y'all so that's one thing that I've been doing while I was gone is definitely picking up and getting back into the routine of trying to exercise and stay consistent with being physically fit because I need it um but yeah today is today is gonna be a busy day um, I'm off today and tomorrow so I'll take you along with me um, up until probably Sunday morning or Saturday evening because Sunday is when I'm gonna be posting this vlog so we'll see but um ooh, I'm walking up a hill now but let me finish this walk and I'll give y'all the agenda for the day when I get back to the house all right y'all so I just got back from my walk and I got home and I got my package so um for my birthday I have a trip that I'm going on um I don't really know much about it all I know is ooh, I gotta shave my underarms all I know is that I'm gonna be by water and sun so I ordered me some new bathing suits even though I probably don't need it because I got a hundred bathing suits like literally um but new trip new bathing suit you know what I'm saying so yeah I got a package I ordered from matte collection the matte collection I've ordered from them before and I like the way my bathing suits fit so I ordered some more so I'll do that a little later I'll unpack it a little later um but I'm back from my walk so I'm about to go freshen up and get ready for the day. So what's on the agenda today is... So I wanted to go to my lash tech because I needed to get my lashes taken off. But I don't know, it might be too late to do that. Um, because I also have to get on the road. And I don't want to get on the road too late to go 
to go out of town um I don't know. I'll think about that. But yeah, so my lash appointment, my lash tech, I need to go wash my car. I also need to go to Best Buy because I want to get a GoPro. So I want to look at a GoPro and see about, you know, what I need to do to get one or what's the best one for what I'm doing. Um, I also need to send out invites for my birthday because I'm having a little birthday shindig after I come back from my trip. So that I can, you know, hang out with my friends for my birthday. I am also, what else I need to do? I said I, I made a mental note in my head and I should have put it in my notes in my phone like I normally do. But yeah, those are the things. Oh, and I need to make a reel for later to post for later. Invite, wash my car. Birthday invite, wash my car. I need to call my lash the lash place to see if I can, they could squeeze me in to take these lashes off and get on the road so that's on the agenda for today let's see if i can get it done right now i need to go make some coffee because i need my coffee okay what was the most important thing on my to-do list today i have to go i'm going to not have to i'm going to take my picture and make it like a little reel or whatever for my 1k because while i was gone guess who got 1000 subscribers me oh my gosh so i'm so excited all thanks to y'all all thanks to y'all support and y'all continuous and consistent watching my videos commenting you know suggesting people subscribe so thank you to all of y'all that did that because y'all did that and y'all did it while i was not even posting so thank you so much so yeah that is definitely on my to-do list i'm gonna go get the balloons and i'm gonna take pictures and i'm gonna take y'all behind the scenes of that okay hey y'all so i'm in my car on the way out just hit the road is about 250 and so I'm running a little behind, leaving a little later than what I wanted to leave, but I wanted to beat the Atlanta traffic, so that's good enough for me, but I'm headed on the road. Only thing I got done today so far is, dang, what did I do? I haven't done anything that's on my list yet. Like, I had other things, like small, um, small things I needed to take care of before I left so I was able to do that but once I get to um, where I'm going I can still do my eyebrows because of, I mean my eyelashes because the place that I go to out here in Atlanta they actually have a new location that opened up so I'm gonna call when I get there and see if they can take me today or tomorrow because I'll be there until tomorrow and um, also I'm going to do my picture, my balloon picture. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, but I'm gonna make sure the party city or wherever I'm gonna get the balloons from, they have the balloons so that I could just do it while it's sunny. And then, oh, I'm gonna work on my invitation so that I could send it um, today. So that doesn't really have a time frame, but other than that, yeah. Uh, I just been taking care of things that I needed to do here at home before I get on the road. So, oh, and I'll wash my car once I, I thought about it. I was like, I don't want to wash my car to get on the road and have all those bugs and stuff, the dirt from driving on the highway on my car. So I'll just wash it once I get to my destination. All right, y'all. So I made it to the location to where I'm supposed to be at. And why is it so close up? Back up, child. Look at that. Why is it so close? Okay. So anyways, I made it to my destination and I decided to come all the way to the last place since it's, it's not going out of my way. It's actually in the direction where I need to go. 
and I get over here and they're closed. So I'm about to call to find out what's going on because according to the time and the website and the sign on the door, they're supposed to be open. Like that's a little bit inconvenient. So yeah, about to see what's happening. But this is the last place I go to. So I have a membership there. Hello, and thank you for calling Amazing Lash Studio. We are so excited to announce you have officially opened our doors in Athens, Georgia. If you want to know more about us, please the sign in membership. Please you your first and last name as well as your phone number so one of our team members can get back to you and schedule you first of all. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Amazing Lash Studio. Our goal is to create lasting beauty and confidence and passion that is each and excellent. Hi, my name is Nicole. I was calling to see if I can get an appointment. Um, I'm actually here at the studio, but it seems like it's closed. Um, so if someone can give me a call back today and give me a call back at 7, thank you. All right. So, so yeah, y'all, I guess that was a fail. Hopefully somebody calls me back or I'll just have to stop by tomorrow. I'm not coming back out this way any other time today. So, yeah, that's that. I'm a little, I don't know if that's a sign that I should just wait till I get back to Atlanta and just go to my girl. But they're all like, it's a franchise. Amazing Lash Studio is a franchise, so they're in different locations and this is actually a new location that they just opened but ain't nobody here so i don't know but anyways on to my next stop no, I'm stolen, cause you love to have a more crying mm -hmm. gonna be sweet day tell me you need me but i'm from a city that's high school i give them this in the more i go uh, cause you a bad man you should don't love me but it cries real fast like on one When I swim down to the deep end Wanna know all my secrets, honestly Can you keep it real? Cause honestly, I can tell that you're real fond of me Baby, don't be shy All right, y'all, so I am finally done with all my errands for today Or all my errands that I'm gonna run today I, um, as y'all saw, I was able to get to a car wash, which I'm excited about because my car needed a washing and i don't like riding around dirty i did go ahead and make a to-do list just so that i do not um it was kind of blurry but i don't forget the things that i need to do within these well now only one day so so far what i was able to do today i worked out this morning which i saw got my car wash um and i drove to where I needed to be today. So I did go to the mall, I stopped at the mall and I picked up some things um, there. And then I got me something to eat. So now I'm just about to call it a night. And then tomorrow, now that I made a list, I can kind of, I have like a, um, a guide of what I need to do instead of trying to remember off the top of my head and then forget and then I'll be like, oh my God. Um, as far as my lashes go from earlier, I called them, I left them a message, and I also went online on their particular website for their franchise, and I guess something's going on with that location because no appointments were available um, for the rest of today and none um, for tomorrow. So I guess I'm just gonna have to wear my lashes like this the way they are. Um, if y'all can tell, this eye is missing a lot of lashes, and this eye is not, but I was just gonna get my lashes removed um, and let my eyes breathe until my birthday trip which is in about two weeks so now i'm just gonna have to thug it out probably put some mascara or something on or go get some uh what are those called strips and put them on so that my eyes will look even for now um until i get back to atlanta tomorrow and then i'm gonna see if they have any appointments that they could squeeze me in for tomorrow because i don't want to be walking around looking crazy like this especially if i gotta go to work like that looks ghetto that was that for today tomorrow what i have left is um 
taking my pictures and also stopping my best buy tonight well once i get settled i'm gonna work on my birthday invites and i'm gonna send those out either tonight or tomorrow um because i want to at least give people time to let me know if they're going to be able to come or not and things like that so yeah that's enough i brought y'all with me today i'm gonna um see y'all tomorrow So, all right, y'all. So, look what I got behind me. Oh my god. Okay, so I got my balloons. I'm so excited. Anyway, today is um, what is today? November 4th. It's Friday. Um, last time I talked to y'all, I was. I don't know what I was doing I can't remember anyways but today is yeah November 4th and I have been on the go since this morning I still have a lot more stuff to do but the main thing was to get my balloons and I got them back there I'm so excited and then the crazy thing is I got them from Party City and I didn't get to Party City till like 12 p.m. and <clears throat> it's like three o'clock now but I went to go pick them up and they just put a sign up saying that they're out of helium so I'm so excited that I made it just in time to get my balloons um, inflated but um, getting hit by the uh oh so yeah um other than that I went and had lunch with my friend today and for the first time I I had ramen well I had pho I called it pho <laughs> but the waiter he got me all together so I had pho for the first time hold on one second hello hello the last clip I was saying that I tried um, for lunch I went out with a friend and we had we went to this restaurant called pho ramen I think that's what it's called pho ramen noodles or something like that anyways it was really good um, it was my first time trying pho I keep wanting to say pho because that's what it looks like but it was my first time trying it and it was really good I had the beef the braised beef and then I also tried some um, bulgogi uh egg rolls and i actually have some to go because it was really good the sauce i wasn't really a fan of the sauce because it was spicy and y'all know i don't do spicy but um other than that it was the food was really good and um so i was i could see myself you know trying it again or eating pho or ramen again my friend was laughing at me because I basically think that ramen is like oodles and noodles and that's what I grew up on so I mean but she was like girl no that's not what it is stop saying that so I did that and then um I went like I said and got my balloons now I am at my mother's house I'm gonna go in and try to freshen up real quick because I still need to take my pictures and I want to try to get it out the way today I don't want to wait another day because this picture needs to be posted on Sunday right before I post this vlog. It kind of goes hand in hand, so that's what it is. So that's what I'm about to go do. Um, I didn't get a chance to do Best Buy yet. I found out that I don't have to work tomorrow, so that gives me another day to do what I need to do. So we have another day added to the vlog, vloggy vlog. So I may do Best Buy tomorrow. I don't know, I may still do it today after I'm done taking my pictures. Let me tell y'all, okay, so I got this card along with some flowers um, and it was really cute and really thoughtful. So the inside it says, well it says congrats to you. You aimed high and reached your goal. And it says enjoy the feeling of success and you know you made enjoy the feeling of success and know you've made some people very proud and then it says i'm one of those people way to go and congrats on one year with my company the company i work for and then also congrats on 1k on youtube 
to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. So that was really sweet and thoughtful and that definitely made me smile and made my day because it just makes you, it makes me reflect back on like, dang, it's really been a year. I've been with my company, which I said in the last video. And then also, you know, I just reached my 1,000 subscribers and that's a big accomplishment that like that was a goal of mine and I did it I did it you know within the year so yeah kudos to me for thugging it out because y'all know I can you know I can be very inconsistent and I'm accountable I hold myself accountable but I'm gonna I'm getting better okay I'm getting better because I want to keep climbing and keep reaching for higher and higher goals so anyways let me get in the house and stop rambling and I'll talk to y'all when I look like something, okay? So yeah, I'm trying to set up my 1K picture. Let's see if I can make it work. I had to bootleg and get my book bag to hold it because this is an angle. There's a lake behind me, so I do not want myself to fall. Let's see if I can get this in one shot. all right y'all so i literally just finished my picture my 1k picture i was so excited because y'all when i got to the house i first of all i was working on that reel i told y'all i wanted to do a little droplets are in the lake but there's no rain but anyways i was working on that reel i told y'all i wanted to do yesterday i totally forgot that wasn't on my list i didn't put it on my list but i forgot but anyways that's what i started working on and then i got sleepy and it was either the sleep was going to defeat me or i was going to actually be disciplined and get up and do it and fight through the sleep so that's what happened and i'm glad i, I did that because um it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow and that's one of the reasons i didn't do it on the original day i reached my 1k is because it wasn't a nice day it wasn't sunny and today it was really nice it was really sunny the sun is still out and so i was like let me go ahead and at least force myself to get up and get this thing going do something to my hair so i curled my hair real quick and um did my eyebrows i did not bring all my makeup with me so it was a natural face but that's that's neither here nor there i'm excited because i really really like the pictures this was not my original setting i was not going to do this setting but um somebody suggested like hey you have a lake in your in the neighborhood why you just don't use the seatings and stuff around the lake and i was like hmm that might be a good idea because i didn't want to drive back out downtown to where i originally wanted to do the pictures at and it came out so good i'm so excited i'm so excited that is what happens god looks out for you when you actually do what you say you're going to do like he he does the rest but you got to come in and do your part too you know what i'm saying so anyways i'm done for my work with my work for the day i'm so excited this has been a really great first week of november i'm just gonna say that i'm really really excited now i'm excited to put this video out so the video that i'm talking in right now um that's what y'all will see sunday so that is going to be my first weekly vlog and it's going to have hashtag Covember. So remember to hashtag Covember and go ahead and drop that in the comment section as well. Hashtag Covember. Drop the little birthday emojis and all that good stuff. If you're celebrating this month, happy birthday to you, boo. This is the best month ever. You know it's Scorpio Sagittarius season. Ain't nothing like it, boo. All right, y'all. I don't know what else I'm doing for the rest of the evening. I might go get something to eat with my mom later. I don't know. But, um... If I do, I'll bring the camera back out. I'm so excited. Hey y'all, hey. I look a hot mess, I know, but it's okay. It's not gonna last for too long. But what's up y'all? Today is November 5th, Saturday, and I am just getting my day started. I'm back in Atlanta. So I am gonna go ahead and finish out the things I needed to do today. Luckily, I am off today. I was supposed to work, but somebody picked up my trip. So yeah, that's a blessing. And um, so what I'm gonna do now, well, I'm headed to the hair salon. I'm gonna go get my hair done. 
and then I was able to make a lash appointment with my lash tech out here and I'm gonna get these lashes removed and then um, I'm also gonna stop by Best Buy today so those are just the things I need to do today to finish out all of, of my tasks that I made within the last three days but um yeah I just want to get on here and say hello it's a new day I'm so glad that I went ahead and pushed myself to do the pictures yesterday y'all because like I said today was supposed to be um, I don't know if this guy's crossing come on um today was supposed to be really cr uh, cloudy and muggy and it sure enough is like right now it's drizzling um but there's not a sight of any type of sun or anything in the sky it's very gloomy and gray and so i would have been so mad if i had to wait or if i waited till today because today i honestly don't feel like doing that and like you know like the weather determines like your mood and today is really oh my god what are they doing um it's like a whole family on the side of the road look like they're backpackers or something but this is not i don't know maybe they're going on the trail as a family i don't know but yeah so yeah today's like weather is just making me just want to stay in the house and be in the bed all day but i'm gonna go get these things done and then i'm gonna be back at the house chilling i got my laptop with me so i can go ahead and start editing this video for tomorrow because i do work tomorrow so that'll be a whole new video a whole new flight attendant um vlog and i'm excited for where i'm going but i'll talk about that in the flight attendant vlog not this vlog okay hey y'all I am out of the salon, y'all. Look at how she laid my hair. I just love when they lay it. And my hair has grown out so much. Well, my color has grown out so much. It will literally be a year. Actually, this week since I've colored since I colored my hair like fully blonde. Um, and look how far, look how much my hair has grown. Like roots, like all within, are black. Um, or my natural color, but anyways just got out of the salon just wanted to um show y'all my hair I'm glad that it stopped Drizzling and it's not like muggy or misty anymore So that's a good thing because if it was I was gonna tell her to keep my hair wrapped because I did not want to mess it up I have next week. I have a lot of Things going on and I need my hair to be looking good. So um, oh, let me take this no wonder I feel like I'm choking because she had tucked my hood in so it doesn't get wet when they shampooed me but um but yeah so I'm done I still have a little bit um time before uh my lash appointment so I'm gonna go ahead and knock out Best Buy right now since I'm on since it's actually this on this side of town because my lash my lash place is in the city and so I like to go in the city, do what I gotta do, and come right back out. It's crazy because I used to live close to the city to the point where that's why I lived on that side of town because I like to be close to the city. But now, y'all know Atlanta traffic, or well, don't know, Atlanta traffic be about that BS, okay? No matter what day it is, Atlanta traffic is retarded. But um, yeah, so I'm about to head to Best Buy. So I'll talk to y'all when I get in there. I might bring y'all in. I don't know. I might might not. But um, I'm eating the Slim Jim right now because I'm hungry. But I don't want to buy food because I got food at home. And I don't want to like be wasting money. But I'm really hungry. So hopefully this holds me. Or I might have to get a quick bite. I don't know. But I was able to start editing. I'm so happy. Like y'all, I am really on this, you know, getting my stuff done vibe, okay? You know what I'm talking about? Like I'm not, I'm not procrastinating because I'm a big procrastinator. It is what it is. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm a big procrastinator. And if I don't do what I said I'm gonna do, I'm never gonna do it. So yeah. With that being said, I was able to transfer all of my content that I've been recording for the last couple of days. I transferred it to what's this? Lady View at Stonehenge. I don't know what that is 
I was able to transfer it over to the computer. Then I started editing. So I got it done, y'all. And it'll be done by tonight, by the time I get back home. I'm gonna finish editing so it can be scheduled for tomorrow. All right, let me go. Too much talking. Talk to y'all at Best Buy. Go Pro section. And these are the different options. But I don't know which one to get. They said I have about two people ahead of me, but I can't wait that long, so. Mm. Media mode, I don't need anything like that. That's water, well, all of them are waterproof. I need somebody to help me, because I don't know what to get. And then, I'll probably get like this hand handheld so I can do this because that's going to be me. Is that a cover? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I definitely need somebody here to help me. I'm probably going to have to come back. Alright, so I decided to wait because they said I'm next on the list. So, I still got a little bit time so I've just been researching on my phone like which GoPro to get for what I need and since I'm a beginner I don't think I need anything too advanced um but I'm I just noticed there's music playing so I'm gonna go ahead and just get b-roll while I'm in Best Buy and then I'll talk to y'all when I get back in the car I'm tripping oh my gosh y'all I just made a big purchase uh Canon G7 Get in the car. My camera. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me get in the camera. I mean, in the car real quick. Jesus have mercy. Cause, ooh, Lord. All right. Yeah, I made a big purchase. I'm so excited. I have not bought new camera equipment in probably like two to three years. Yeah, because I think this. My vlogging camera is about two years old. Um, that was my last camera or video photography equipment that I've that I purchased. Oh, it's hot. I'm about to put the air on. I wore this hoodie because I told y'all it was supposed to be raining and stuff, but this weather is different, okay? Where's my phone? Alright, y'all. Um I'm so excited, okay? First of all. This has been a long time later. This has been a long time coming because I've always said I wanted a GoPro because I think it's so cool like when you go out and do adventures and stuff and like you don't want to bring your big camera even though my G7, my Canon, my vlogging camera is not big. It's still compact because I can put it in my small purse or my pocket but it's not waterproof. It's not um like if you're doing zip lining and stuff like you can't bring that with you because it's gonna fall or it's gonna break and then you're gonna be mad and then i have an even bigger camera at home that i used to use for taking pictures and then like uh, when i used to do red carpet interviews and things like that and that is a huge camera which i'm thinking about selling that because i no longer use it and if i do need another dslr i'll probably just buy a newer one so yeah but that's not what this is about I just purchased my first GoPro. I'm so excited. There were so many options. I didn't know which one to get. So I'm glad the guy um, that was able to take me today and there was somebody there to help me. And I ended up getting, well, I'll show y'all that in another vlog. But just know. <laughs> and I got the little um, handheld stick. It's a floaty stick because your girl gonna be underwater, okay? So yeah, I got that and um a memory card to go with the gopro one that he suggested um so i'm so excited when i was checking out i was like this is my birthday gift to myself like yeah because i don't really have anything to buy myself that i wanted besides like when i go back to paris I'm going back to the Louis store or the Gucci store. I don't know. But that's besides the point. That that's that was going to be my birthday gift to myself, but that's 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 something else. But um 
yeah I'm just excited this is my early birthday gift so now I'm on my way to my lash appointment um because I know it's about to take at least an hour to get there from where I'm at so I will talk to y'all when I get to my lash appointment I'll do an unboxing and a all that good stuff probably in the next video y'all I'm so excited this is a great like gift to myself and then on top of that for reaching uh the goal of reaching my 1000 subscribers so thank y'all your girl moving on up in the world okay hey y'all have y'all heard the new drake and 21 savage what y'all think about it i'm listening to it now oh it's starting to rain let me put my window up honey Okay, I should have got out the car when I got here. But I made it to my lash appointment. As y'all can see, it's right there. And um, I got here, like, I got here about 15 minutes ago. So my appointment is not until 5.30. So I've just been sitting in my car and it has not been raining at all. And now all of a sudden, the raindrops started coming down, so. I'll probably get out as soon as it stops so I don't get caught up in this mess. But um, I'm so sleepy, y'all. Like, I am so sleepy. It's ridiculous. Whew. I know I'm going to be in there knocked out. Like, when I go get my lashes done, I have to apologize at the end of my session because your girl be in there snoring. <laughs> and I just be like, I'm so sorry. But, um, yeah, that's that. Just uh, letting y'all know I made it to my lash appointment. And once I'm done here, I have to stop at Target to get stuff for work tomorrow. And then that's it. I'm done. I'm heading home and just going to chill and relax for the rest of the evening. Edit this video so I can have it scheduled for tomorrow so I don't have any issues. Y'all. So, I think I showed y'all yesterday, but y'all see my lashes? So, y'all see this one has barely any lashes. Like any extensions on my lashes and then this one it still has some but not much but um i had to i had a bad reaction my last refill and i was supposed to come last week when i got back in town so that they can take these lashes off but i just didn't make it so that's why i'm getting my lashes removed because i had a bad reaction i thought i was like having an allergic reaction because my eyes were itching my skin was like it was just it looked retarded it looked excuse me not retarded it just looked nasty and then um i this on uh, my left eye was swollen not the day i got my lashes done but the next day and so i was like yeah i'm gonna have to get these off let my eyes rest and then get a whole new set applied so that's why i'm here getting these taken off i haven't had to wear strips in like over six months so it's gonna feel real different because these are so convenient but i don't want to mess up my eyes more than they already are like i wear glasses and contacts i don't need to be going blind in my eyes because i want to have lash extensions like it's not even that worth. it's not worth i got out the shop and then i ran into a rainbow so this is the other side of the rainbow hope nobody's behind me but do y'all see it and it's a double rainbow so that's one, y'all see one, and then that's another one, very faint, but it's right there. So when I was getting out of the lash place, my lash appointment, it was a rainbow literally right in front of me. And my lash place is on the other side of the street. So I was like, I wonder where the other side of the rainbow is at. And look, here it go. I never really saw a full rainbow like that. I mean, I probably have, but I don't remember it being like so vivid like that. Like it's literally, I see one end of the rainbow and I see another. That's so cool. And then it's a double. So that's double good luck, double the fun, double the blessing. You know, all that good stuff. I think rainbows are good luck, so. And um, yeah, so anyways, I am out of my lash appointment, y'all. That was a really good lash appointment i'm gonna talk to y'all more about it um once i'm done but i just pulled up the target because i need to get some um last minute items before uh to get ready for work tomorrow so i'm gonna talk to y'all once i leave target because i want to go in and out i don't want to be in target well this target 
all night because I still gotta drive back to my side of town. All right, y'all. So I am back. I'm headed home. I did my Target run. I was in and out, and I did not get anything that I did not need. I take that back. I did get something when um in the travel section. So I saw this uh fellow flight attendant who works for a different airline she had this on her story on instagram and i think it was this brand but it was something about like a zip kit and it was in the travel section so basically it's like little patches like if you get a pimple just a random pimple and um you need to get rid of it these are patches for it so i bought it just in case because my face just you know it does what it wants to do when it wants to do it so yeah that's that but anyways that's the only thing I bought outside of what I went in there for and so now I'm on the way home I'm so proud because I completed all my tasks for the from the last three days that I said I wanted to do or that I needed to do really um, and then I added some extra stuff in like getting my hair done because that wasn't in the plans but because I have a lot of things to do next week, I know I'm not gonna have time to go to the hair salon, so went ahead and got that out of the way. So anyways, my lash appointment. My lash appointment went really, really well, and remember how when I pulled up to the lash place, the location when I was out of town, and all of that just went, went down, it went south. And I was like, dang, maybe that's you know a sign that I'm not supposed to be there, I'm supposed to stay with my original uh, Lash location, even though they're franchise and it's supposed to be all under the same company, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I say all that to say, I'm glad, you know, that didn't work out out of town and I was able to come back home and get straight to the location I normally go to. And then my girl, my lash tech that always does my lashes, um, she was getting ready to get off but she was there and so i'm glad she was there because we talked she was just telling me it's a good thing that i'm you know i'm taking these old the uh, old lashes off and um because maybe i had a reaction or something i don't know but we talked and then i told her i wanted to come when i wanted to come back to get a whole new set and so typically she doesn't work past six o'clock but the time that i needed for the day that i want to come that's the only time that she had available she was like it's your birthday i'll stay for you and i was like really so that made me happy um so we went ahead and got my next appointment booked and she's saying after work just to do my lashes like <laughs> i feel so special and she said me and her dad shared the same birthday so that was cool and then me and the receptionist we got the talking y'all and like typically i don't talk to like I don't talk to everybody or just anybody about like my personal business and and not to say that I did talk to her about my personal business but <clears throat> she got me to open up and just be like conversational with her which I'm a pretty friendly person like if you speak to me I'll speak to you vice versa you know very polite courteous and all that but it's a difference between you know just being the general courteous and polite and then finding a stranger that you just click with and y'all could just have a conversation like y'all been friends for the last 10 years so that's how she and our conversation was and it was a really good conversation um the girl that was actually removing my lashes she still had a, a client so i was just out there chilling with the receptionist and we were just talking we got to talking about relationships and how society puts so much pressure because she's we're in the same age range but she's married she says she's been married for like seven years i think been with been together for six no been together for seven but she's been married six and so anyways she gets to talking and um we get to talking about um marriage and just relationships in general and how you know so many people are pressured into situations and things that they're not ready for only because of what society tells them they should be doing or how their relationship should be or you know these relationship goals and how you how people always look at other people instead of really digging 
deep within themselves to see you know what is what they truly want instead they're making other people and other people relationships and other people's like personalities their goals and then trying to become something that they're not and so that's why a lot of the times you see all these relationships are failing or people are in relationships for the wrong reasons and it could be relationships friendships business partnerships all this all that type of stuff because of how much pressure you know the outside world is putting on on everybody oh is it a full moon tonight that's not a oh my god is it a full moon tonight oh that is a full moon come on full moon yes so anyways the conversation was really good um, she asked me about my relationship status and just gave me pointers and not really pointers but like you know just good conversation as far as why you know if you want to be in a relationship or you want to be at a status in a relationship you know don't let anybody tell you tell you can't be there or you can't do this with this person or give you their timeline of when that certain things are supposed to happen because their timeline your timeline is not their timeline and your destiny is not their destiny so it was just it was just I don't know it was just a really good conversation and I say all that to say like I really appreciate moments like that um, when I meet just you know random people and I could just click you know automatically it's just a natural um natural vibe and somebody that can have me open up and like i said it's nothing that i told her that's like you know gave her my blood type or anything like that but it was more so just like a regular natural girlfriend like a girlfriend girlfriend conversation like we've been friends forever and sometimes you need that like sometimes even the closest people that are to you you can't even have those type of conversations because they're so judgy or you feel like they're not listening or they're not hearing you or you know they're not you know being receptive or they're not giving any like good suggestions or anything like that like it's just sometimes you know it's just like the convert you, you can't have conversations with certain people and so it just felt good to be able to again like I said have that conversation that random conversation and I wasn't even looking for conversation honestly I was just like I said going to get my lash removal but you know God put places people certain people in your life for certain reasons and um I, honestly I've never seen her there as many times as I've been there I've never seen this girl there um and I've been going to this location literally the past I think six or seven months so it was nice meeting her <clears throat> and it was a reason that she was there and it was a reason that we had the conversation that we had and like I said I appreciate moments like that yeah without getting into too much more details and such but um yeah other than that I am headed home y'all and this is probably gonna be the end of this weekly vlog because like I said I need to go ahead and edit it and schedule it for tomorrow so that it could be out because I'm not gonna be available by no by any computer my computer or anything like that because I'm gonna be working and like I said I want I started this month on the right track so I want to continue it and I want to continue my YouTube um, oh wow and I want to continue you know the consistency right so with that being said yeah if you made it this far thank you so much much for chilling with me and being here on my first weekly vlog even though it was three days the next vlog will probably be a little longer because next week like i said i have a lot going on i have some events to go to i have a wedding to go to and some other stuff going on but anyway so yeah next week is gonna be real busy but that's gonna be in the next weekly vlog so not Wednesday but it'll be on Sunday's vlog next Sunday not tomorrow Sunday all right 
so with that being said y'all thank you so much if you like i said if you made it this far thank you so much for sticking around with me and chilling with me and all that good stuff i'm so excited for what's to come and i'm so excited to be back vlogging it just makes me feel so good and warm inside you know all right y'all <laughs> that's enough all right so i'll see y'all next week and I'll see you in the next flight attendant vlog, but I'll see you in the next weekly vlog next week. Uh, make sure that you like, share, comment, and all that good stuff. And make sure your notification bell's on. All right, I'm doing a lot of talking. I'm probably gonna edit all this down. But anyways, all right, see you next week. Bye!